Hi, good morning. I'm Chris Collins, the Chief Operating Officer at Live TV, the subsidiary company of JetBlue who's developed their new FlyFi system for in-flight connectivity. And today we're going to walk through the aircraft and look at the components and all of the equipment that will drive this new technology that will drive 12 megabytes of uh, bandwidth to the customer, not just to an aircraft, but to each and every customer on the aircraft, giving you an at-home experience. So as we walk through the cabin, there's what we call a WAP, and there's three of those in the cabin interior that drive the uh, wireless connectivity in the aircraft. One around row 20 here. We've got one mid-cabin, which is um, like row 12, 11, 12, and then we have another access point at row four, and that access point will actually show you a WAP and what it looks like and the simplicity of the design with technology, um, IP technology that is um, driven just for live TV by Motorola, our partner. You can see here the, the WAP which drives the uh, wireless connectivity throughout the cabin. Going forward, we'll walk into the cockpit and we'll look at the switches that actually drive the technology on board the aircraft. And as you can see here, just some very simple switches that just power the aircraft on and power the system off. And then out in the cabin for the cabin attendants, um, some very simple technology that allows them to tell, you, tell them what state the aircraft is in. Uh, when the aircraft is lit up here, it's in, in flight with uh, internet connectivity. Down here is intranet which uh, is available for ground, which will allow you to upload and download software. And this indicator would be, if the, ind if the system wasn't working at all, this would be lit up. But a very simple, easy device for the cabin attendants to know that the system is working. Now we're going to go down and we're going to actually look in the E&E bay to look at the components that drive the KA system. Yeah, this is the E&E bay compartment where all of the aircraft electronics are held that drive the aircraft system. We've got three boxes down here in the very bottom, two being live TV and one Biosat, which runs the whole KA system that we've installed. Uh, very easy for a mechanic to access during a ground turn. Should there be a component failure, you need to swap it out. Just pull in and slip in a new box. But we're going to take a look under the radome, actually on the aircraft, and show you what's actually under the hood. Um, this outer component here is what we call the fairing and this is what attaches to the aircraft which attaches to the ray dome that goes over the top. Well, we've got a bunch of antennas in here as you'll see on top of the aircraft in a moment but this is the uh, GPS antenna which um, tracks and makes sure that the antennas both the KU antenna for the television and the KA for the internet connectivity making sure that the antennas are pointed to the satellite in the right location we can see that this spins around, both of these do, to get the, the correct trajectory. And this small antenna over here is the Waddle technology, which allows us to upload and download information from the aircraft um, to allow us to monitor how well the aircraft system is working. This here is a mock-up of the actual antenna. This is actually just a wood mock-up, but the size and the look and weight of this is exactly as it would be uh, on the aircraft. So again, this is how the technology underneath the radome on the aircraft looks uh, to drive both the television and the uh, fly-fi system. Just as we talked about, this is the fairing of the uh, structure with the radome, this piece here. This is the new technology. The uh, uh, XM antenna. VHF and then our Waddle technology that takes all the aircraft off the uh, aircraft uh, when landing. So as we were just up on top of the aircraft, now what I want to show you is a truck that we've had specifically designed for uh, maintaining the antenna that we have on top of the aircraft. But you can see that this truck has the capability to extend up and over the top of the fuselage so that we can get access to the antenna to actually pull it off for uh, regular maintenance or should there be any reason to get underneath the uh, radome to look at the antennas, this will give us the ability. This is specifically needed because not every airport and not every airline has access to a hangar and this will give us the ability to maintain the fleet in a much more responsive manner um, once we deploy this new system.